Morning, 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 welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Love 500, and welcome back to a project you haven't seen for quite some time. You've probably even forgotten the name, Project Henrietta. I'd forgotten the name as well. She's back, she's back from the body shop. Before we show you the results of the body shop, let's just go back, I don't know, a month and a half ago? Maybe even up to two months ago, I can't remember. I'll have to have a look, see what the date was. But I recorded this a couple of days or the day before she went into the body shop. So let's have a quick look. So if you watch my review of the Foggit machine, uh, you would have seen that when I finished doing it, there was lots of uh, fluid left in the uh, reservoir. And I've just marked this, where that, that's how much I'd put in, and I've just poured what was left back in. As you can see, it's barely used any. That's a full one next to it. So it's used about less than a centimetre of depth. So it's hardly anything. So I'm gonna try a different flavour on this one. So as you know, this car is uh, smelly, it's a smoker's car. You can't smell it obviously because we haven't got smelly vision, or smelly computer, smelly tablet, smelly phone, whatever it is you're viewing this on. Excuse the noisy family at the end of my garden. Um, the only issue we might have is the uh, smoke escaping through there, down there of course, because um, yeah, I don't suppose it fits very well, but we'll do what we can. Um, and hopefully it won't. So I'm going to set it up, um, give it a blast, see what happens. Lemon, lemon sherbet. I'm not sure, fancy lemon sherbet. One million cent. Let's see what that smells like. I wonder if it smells like the uh, the aftershave. Let's uh, give it a go. Oh look, I just found a bottle of beer there. I think I might have to open that. What a shame. So yeah, I'm going to pour that in. Um, not going to put much in. Less than I did before, obviously. Uh, and then we'll see see what it does, see if it does get rid of the smell of that smoke. Right, sitting on the back seat. I'm going to see, what, I don't know how long it takes to warm up. So I'm going to come back once it's warmed up. And then we'll um, give it a blast and we'll show you how it works. Right, it's all heated up now, lights on, so let's see it in action. Here we go. Car is slowly filling up. Nothing's coming out the door yet, but I'm sure it will. So just keep the button pressed, it goes off, and then it has to reheat again. It's already quite full of smoke. I don't think anything's coming out of this door. So that one million cent, it's, uh, it's a really nice smell actually. Can't, you can't see anything in there now, can you? So you just have to wait till these lights come back on again. You, if, you, um, if you didn't watch my review on this machine uh, and you want to watch it in full, um, I'll put the link up above now, have a click on there. Um, and I'll also stick it at the end of this, um, this video as well. Um, so yeah, with, there's no, I'm not filming this whole thing again. I'm just waiting for the light to come back up here where it heats up again. And then we press the button, do that for about five minutes and until the machine, uh, until the car is full of smoke and you can't see anything in there. Um, and um, yeah, and then we leave it for 25 minutes. So just let that warm up and we'll be back. So I'm not quite sure where. It's a bit the same as uh, Loopy Harold. Um, it is escaping from somewhere. You can actually see the seats in this one. I think there's more escaping. Doesn't seem to be escaping from around the other side where I expected it to. I'm sure it's coming from under the bonnet here somewhere. Can't actually see it now, but yeah, the, the level of um, smoke has gone right down. Look at this one. You can hear it going still. You can see the smoke coming from somewhere. When I'm pressing the button, it's coming out probably under the bonnet somewhere. It's really weird. I wish this, the only thing that bugs me about this machine a little bit is you have to keep 
letting go and then start letting it heat up and start again I know this that was um, the same on the DJ ones because you you quite quite quickly filled a, a, a dance floor with smoke just by like a five second press was enough and so these machines aren't really built for a long press which is why they say in the instructions it is quite normal and it's part of the reheating process it's not so much that it's the machine's not up to it you want a machine that you can press the button and hold it for five minutes or press the button and it times out after five minutes that would be better so it may even be worth investing in a better machine at some point um, this is a bit of a long-winded way of going about it really so I mean it's still a good machine and it, if it if it gets rid of this smoke smell even as someone said it only hides the smell maybe it will but it's obviously it's getting into every little nook and cranny isn't it so hopefully it'll do the job but we'll come back when I have finished my five minutes pressing the button and you can't see inside the car at all which you still can so it's obviously escaping too much for it to completely fill um, yeah don't know where from maybe it's these cars maybe they're just not very well sealed I think it's coming out from under the bonnet so I mean, in fact it is I can see if you look then if you can see it there I can see it escaping from under the bonnet so I imagine it's coming out where the steering wheel goes through or somewhere like that so if it's escaping it's never ever gonna be good enough to um, hold the smoke but we'll keep it going see what happens so it's been about 15 minutes as you can see there's barely any smoke in the car so it's I think it's pointless leaving it any longer I'm sure there will be some in there when I open the door yeah it's a bit but not much so I don't think there's much point leaving it any longer so we'll let the smoke come out but um, I can already smell that it smells much nicer in there whether it will whether it is just disguising the smell and the bacteria and so on or not I don't know but um, what I did see on these bottles is a bit of possibly a bit of a bold claim but it says on here which I never noticed before kills all known and enveloped viruses treatment of bad odors deodorizes and freshens so there's a bit of a bold statement that first one isn't it kills all known enveloped viruses and I believe Covid's an enveloped virus isn't it I bet it doesn't kill it so yeah I believe um, Covid is an enveloped virus isn't it so yeah a bit of a bold claim um, oh I've just realized I've got a beer and my wife's made me a cup of tea as well <laughs> oh well so yeah um, let's have a sniff let's go and have a sniff so obviously you're not going to see this video until such time as the uh, the damage is repaired and I can't wait for that time to come either but at the moment they've still got the white car which I'm waiting to get back and then I'm, hopefully I'm going to swap them over with this one we'll have a look in a minute see how much fluid we've got left but first of all let's have a, get in and have a good sniff well, there's no there's certainly no smell of smoke in here I don't think there's any residue there doesn't seem to be any residue left anywhere it's a bit dirty in here anyway a bit dusty but it smells really nice and fresh really nice and fresh whether it's masking it or not if it, even if it is masking it if it masks it for a decent amount of time then I don't care because it, it will definitely be a good thing to do on every car I sell I think and at the moment it smells lovely in here Mm, nice so I've just started the engine um, for a different purpose if you remember the uh, hang on let's turn you around if you remember on the uh, the last video of um, video 13 of Project Loopy Harold I did that sniff test two or three of you suggested up until now two or three of you suggested I try it on the other cars um, just in case like a cheap eBay test is completely wrong and that everything was going to go yellow um, so I'm going to warm the engine up on this one uh, and then I'm going to try it on this one now I know this is nothing wrong with this engine whatsoever I know that for a fact um, so I'm going to try it and see what, in, in a way I hope it does go yellow because it will just sort of show that that is a cheap crappy test from eBay that don't work but um, I'll let it warm up for five minutes and then uh, we'll set up the uh, sniff test and try it and see what happens you never know Right, exactly the same way we did on Loopy Herald. 
Get the bung, the rubber bung in there. He says, a bit of a tight squeeze. Very tight squeeze, let's take that out. Difficult to get in that. Oh, where's it gone? And why this is so difficult to get in? Well, I do because it's a <laughs> tight fit and it doesn't want to go in. It went in Loopy Harold, okay. I don't know why it's not going in this one. That's it, it's in. Hopefully, it won't pop out when I. Start the engine. Alright, that's that in, then we'll put the fluid in like we did before. A bit more. that do. Alright, what do we think? Is this going to work? Let's give it a try. I'm just going to take the microphone off and go and start the engine. No, nothing so far. Still blue. Yeah, it's definitely still blue. It did say it took a couple of minutes. Are you watching it? Because I'm watching it intently. No, it's not changing, is it? Even that doesn't necessarily mean that um, that it's not right. In it's that it's that it's you know gone in Loop Harold. But there's nothing, is it? I mean, it it, it changed pretty much straight away on Harold. I'm going to give it a few revs and then see what happens. Yeah. Well, I think that shows us Loopy Harold has got well at the very least it's got some co2 even though i don't think it's blown i think it's leaking but there's no point in me um, doing this test any further i think it's uh, quite conclusive that this one's fine Luby harold isn't so yeah so now next in the video which is a long way off for me weeks off probably is um the damage so the next time you see this car the damage will be done we'll reveal the price of how much it cost and then we can uh, finally get it ready for um, MOT service and then get it up to sell. So see you uh, by the magic of YouTube in a few seconds. So I'm down at the paint shop, just taking back, taking the bumpers down to be painted into the white and to get to swap over Henrietta for Marilyn, which is there and done. So uh, yeah, that's all good. All right, let's go and. Uh, exchange some money and uh, get this sorted. So here she is, back from the body shop. I've just picked her up and she's looking great. Now the only thing that hasn't been done is the wing. I've got a new wing, they've, I took a wing down there and they painted it and, excuse the noise, that's my neighbour with a jet wash just for a change. Uh, they've painted the wing and I'm going to put it on. Obviously I'm trying to do as much as I can to save money. So, let me show you the back quarter now. If it, if I didn't, if it didn't show it, then um, I'll stick a picture up of it now. But there it is. All repaired. You would never know. You would never know. It is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And when we opened the door, you remember all that was called caved in spot on absolutely perfect remember some of you berated me for going to stick a badge on the back 
rather than um, get that damage repaired, the little dent that was there, it's been repaired. The scuff that was on there has been repaired. It's all been repaired. This car is now spot on. Two things to do, if you remember. We've got a little crack on the bumper there, which I'm gonna repair, and that's, that's broken. I bought a new one of these. These one of these strips. Could only get one brand new, 45 pounds. Oh, 45 quid, you can imagine what that bit costs, don't you, down there? Gotta be two, 300, isn't it? Crazy price. But luckily, that's okay, it's just that bit. So bumper's gotta come off to do that. I've gotta repair the bumper, and then obviously, um, stick the new one on those so what else the wing has got to be done as I say it's in the back it's just got to be put on um, it needs two new tyres on the front which I will do next week uh, yeah I am so pleased with it I mean it has taken a long time to get to this stage they've had it for a long long while lines are all perfect obviously that was the door that I put on now they had trouble with um, paint codes. They, uh, I was speaking to Tony, the guy at the, uh, at the paint shop yesterday, and um, he told me that they had a nightmare with the car matching the color. They could not match the color. They've, also, they've got a 17, this is a 67, they've got a 17 plate one, exactly the same color in as well. He said, and they've been trying to read the codes. He said, and this was coming up, they just couldn't recognise the code when they were using whatever the, the gadget is, spectrometer or whatever it is they use to read the paint codes. And the other one that they've got in the same colour was coming up as a completely different colour, but it is the same colour. Um, interestingly enough, both from 2017, he initially thought, oh, this one's had lots of painting done and they've done it in the wrong colour. But he's now come to the conclusion that the entire car was reading differently but wrongly. So what they've done, I'm not quite sure exactly what they've painted, but they've almost painted the entire car. They haven't done the bumper. They have done the bonnet. They've done, I don't know. I don't know what they've done. I know they've done the door. I know they've done the rear quarter. So they've done that entire side, including the new wing, not that wing. Um, so you can see there is a color difference there. But I mean, obviously one's clean and one's not, but oh, you can see where it's been masked there. That's where they masked it. A um, lot more, uh, orange peel in that than there is in that. Uh, I, don't, I don't suppose they've done the roof, but uh, obviously they've done the boot because they repaired that. And obviously they've done this entire side as well. So, it's, it's brilliant. I'm well, well pleased with it. So what have I got left to do on this car? Right, let's go over it. Actually, before we do that, let's just show you inside what we've got left to do inside as well. So we've got all the bits and pieces in here. We've got the wing, which has got to be put on, by moi. Um, we've got to put all the wadding back in. We've got to put all the trim back in. The seats have obviously all got to go back in. The side panels all got to go back in. Um, <coughs> number plate, I've got a screw back on. I was able to take that off, obviously, when they did painting. Um, let's show you inside. <laughs> Dusk City. Look at this. <laughs> Everything is covered in a layer of sand and dust. It's always the same when we get go to the body shop. Always the same. But in a minute, need we've got a little slight worn steering wheel there, but that is what it is. That's obviously someone with a ring, I guess. But I'm not going to try and repair that. Um, so yeah, it's it, it is all good. It is all good. I'm well pleased with it. It just needs finishing off and a damn good clean. So what do you think? You know, I know what you're. I know what you're all sitting there thinking. Tell us how much it costs. Well, let's go back outside. So you're all obviously eagerly awaiting me to tell you how much it was going to cost. I don't know. It's free at the moment. <laughs> he said uh, when I called him yesterday, he wanted to deliver the car to me yesterday, and I said, and I was on the way to work when he phoned me, and I said, look, I'm on my way to work. I said I'll come pick it up in the morning, i.e. today. Um, he said, oh, I, I might deliver it to you. Uh, and I know yesterday my neighbour was parking her car here because there's some sons of Ams on the driveway. Uh, and we got the new project around the corner there. So I said to him, I don't think there's going to be anywhere to park it. So hence why I've come down today. I said to him, like I always do, whenever he calls me and says, car's ready, I say, how much do I owe you, mate? He said, I ain't got a clue. He said, I haven't worked it out. Now that could be a good sign or a bad sign. <laughs> um, with the paint issues, he said to me, 
look, he said, um, we, had, we had a nightmare. We've had to basically almost spray, spray can't get the words out, almost spray, stroke paint, the entire car. And he said, that, that's not your fault, mate. That's, you know, that's, that's one of those things. So he's not going to like charge me for a full respray or anything like that. So I'll let you in to what he told me. If, if you remember from the previous videos, you were all going 1,500 quid, 800 pounds, 700 pounds, 1,000 pounds. Some of you were, you know, almost getting on for two grand, you were saying. When I went down there, bearing in mind, I sort of know what I normally pay for various dents and what have you, and I didn't want to necessarily get that boot done. So when I went down there, all I did was said to him, can this be repaired, or do you need to cut in a whole new, you know, weld in a whole new uh, court panel? He went, yeah, that's fine, can do that. Uh, and I said to him, what are we looking at? And he said, and I quote, about 300 quid, maybe a bit more. Now, he has done more work on it, because what he said he had to do, they, he said in future, he said, we'll put a new quarter, a, a new quarter in, if we do ones like this. He said, because it was a pain in the ass. Uh, and so he said what he had to do, they had to cut, cut a bit out, because you've got the reinforcement behind there, he said they had to cut it out, repair it, put it back. So they've done more work than they anticipated, but he said about 300 quid, maybe a bit more. So I said, well, I thought to myself, well, let's call that 400 quid. Now that's just for that, just for the dent and the painting. They've done the boot and they've done, they've obviously sprayed that wing. They were gonna repair this wing, but he said to me, look, if you've got a wing, he said it's it'd be easier just to for us to mess around repairing that um, we might as well just get a new one on um, and obviously they've done that so I'm thinking and um, you know I might be completely and utterly wrong I'm thinking maybe 800 pounds for the lot that's what I'm hoping I'm hoping sort of seven eight hundred pounds I could be completely wrong, it might be over a grand. I hope not, but I've, I've still got quite a bit of money in this car, so that's not an issue necessarily. So I won't know until he texts me, he's gonna text me and let me know once he's worked it out. But so as I say, I, I, I'm hoping seven or 800 pounds. I could be completely wrong, could be completely wrong, I don't know, I, I will obviously let you know once I know. Um, but, He's done a lot of work. He's had it a long time. He's had a lot. He's done a lot of work to it. And you know, as I say, he's not going to charge me for everything that he's had to do. Um, I'm in the lap of the gods. Well, I'm not in the lap of the gods. I'm in. I'm in uh, in the lap of uh, the paint shop. But yeah, as I say, if if it if it does come to over a grand, which I'm hoping it won't, then that's just what I'll have to pay. But um, yeah, as I say, when I know, you'll know. But that was my initial cost that he gave me. 300 pounds, maybe a bit more, I thought, maybe 400. Um, and then obviously he's done all the other bits as well. So I would think, I would like to think that that was not me saying seven or 800 pounds is a, is a relatively accurate guesstimate based on what he normally charges me and what he quoted for that other bit. Um, bearing in mind that a lot of you said it would be 1,500 pounds just for that. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, but let's show you a bit more. Actually, I say show you a little bit more. There's not really a little bit more to show you at the moment. Um, think other things apart from what I've already shown you that need to be done is uh, I think it needs new shocks on the back. 67 plate, done 40,000 40, miles. But yeah, it's going to need, uh, I think it's going to need shocks. So I need to have a good look at those. Um, I didn't notice that before, a bit of paint crack in there. And they obviously haven't painted the bumper then, <laughs> clearly. Um, not that I expected them to, to be fair. Um, so yeah, new, I think it needs new shocks, um, quick and easy job and I've got some so I'm going to put them on anyway, there's a bit of a creak coming from the back, uh, it could be the springs, probably the shocks, so I'll, I'll change them anyway, if it still does it I'll change the springs as well, but I don't, I don't think it'll be the springs. Uh, so new shocks, um, aircon needs regas. now this is a, a new shape one so that means it's going to be the new gas. I spoke to the aircon fellow when he did um, the blue car, the faker bath the other day. And uh, he, he says, he, he doesn't do the new gas. Um, he's thinking about doing it, but uh, he's got to buy new new equipment to go to, to be able to do it. So uh, I'm hoping he will, he will be able to do it, but um, 
it's, it's likely that I'm going to have to uh, get it done somewhere else. So what I'll do is it's going, it's going to go in for a service. I've still yet to track down the service history on this. Um, and I did, I did have a little dabble with it and I think I, um, I was having trouble tra tracking it down. So I'll probably give it a, a full service. And while they're doing that, obviously it's going to MOT. I can't remember for the life of me when the MOT runs out on this, but um, it will be getting MOT'd. Full service, MOT, and I'll probably get also get them to do the gas as well. So the gas, the new gas is quite expensive. It's something like 130 quid, something ridiculous, which is very annoying. Uh, but it's got to be done, so there's no point having air conditioning if it don't work. So that's it for the time being. I'm going to put the number plate back on. Um, it's all taxed and insured and everything, so it can uh, go out on the road for the time being. Um, so we'll be back. Um, when will we be back? We'll be back on Monday when we're going to start getting this finished. So on Monday we'll get that wing done. Um, I'll probably get, take it down, take the tyres down to be uh, replaced as well. Uh, and we'll start giving it a clean up. And obviously the, I think the first thing to do is get that interior back in. So on Monday, interior back in, in the interior clean and get that new wing on. That, at least that on Monday. Then we'll attack the, take the bumper. Oh, we've got to take the bumper off to do the wing anyway, so we can do the bumper on the wing at the same time. Whether I'll get all that done on Monday or not, I don't know. But the interior is the first thing to get the interior in and to uh, clean it all inside. Depends on the weather again as well at Monday. It's a nice day today, but unfortunately I'm going to work, so I won't be getting anything done today apart from putting a number plate on. So, yeah, so that's the plan. And then I'm hoping. Because it's, because it's got to be serviced and what have you, I'm hoping not by the next weekend, but the weekend after it will be all finished and ready and up for sale. Uh, and again, I don't know what the body shop is going to charge me, but I'm looking around selling this for a, a smidgen under five grand, which for a 67 plate is a damn good price. Book price for this, an uncategorized car would be, I've looked on eBay and on Auto Trader. Anywhere between seven and eight and a half thousand. So selling it for five or smidgen under five is a bargain. Is an absolute bargain. So there's somewhere, someone out there on that mum's group that I advertise on that this will be owning this little beauty in the very near future. It will be fully serviced, new MOT, nice and clean, good to go. So uh, yeah, we'll be back on Monday. Uh, and we'll do a bit more filming on this of the bits and pieces we've got to do whatever we can do we'll make a video up uh, put that out for next Wednesday uh, and then we can carry on and get it finished uh, for the uh, for next weekend's video so that's it for the time being that's it for me and uh, we'll see you by the magic of YouTube in a few seconds see you then there's Loopy Harold popped up in a little side street on my way home from work now so a video is not a video without Loopy Harold as you know so this is your little taster of Loopy Harold for this video so Loopy Harold has um, done 69,000 miles now oops 69,000 miles now um, I'm parked up on this little side street uh, I've been using the car for work for the last couple of months now um, and with the uh, um, leaking head gasket, I don't call it a blown head gasket because I don't think it's blown, I, I think it's leaking. Car runs absolutely fine, absolutely fine. The reason I just turned the ignition back when it came up with a lock symbol on the key. Oh, the yelp had me worried for a minute, that's coming up with a low fuel warning. Um, yeah, the reason, um, yeah, it's been fine. Drives, drives absolutely fine, um, stops absolutely fine, it goes really well, uh, but if I get stuck in traffic for more than a minute or two, the temperature starts to creep up and up and up, uh, and I have on a few occasions had to turn the engine off and then restart it, um, so it's sort of on the verge of boiling over. Uh, yesterday on the way to work, it um, I got a, a knocking noise coming from down there, left hand side, um, near side. First of all, I thought I thought the wheel was falling off. There's no there's no steering wheel wobble. There's, you can't feel anything through the gearbox. You can't feel anything through the pedals. It drives absolutely fine, 
but I, I mean, I'm not going to describe it as a knocking, it's a banging. You can sort of feel it banging on the floor plan, floor, floor pan. It's really weird. Um, I'm thinking and stroke hoping that it's um, a wheel bearing, which I'm hoping it's not going to seize on the way home because it, it started yesterday morning driving to work. Um, so I drove home from work yesterday and I've driven to work this morning uh, and now I've got to drive home again. Um, so let's hope it keeps keeps going. But I say it's driving fine. Um, it's just making a... Uh, I'm, I can't even describe it. It is a banging noise. It's like someone has taken off uh, the bottom arm and is banging it on the bottom of the car. But as I say, I don't think it's anything too drastic because it's the, the car drives drives fine, steers fine, etc., etc. It's really, really weird. Um, but yeah, hopefully it will, be, it will drive home okay. I'm, I'm sure it will. I'm going to get it up in the air tomorrow. I'll take the wheel off and have a look and see... Um, See if I can figure out what it is. So ho hopefully it is just a wheel bearing, and uh, if it is, I'll I'll get a new hub for it, second hand hub for it, entire hub, and change that. It's easier than trying to just change a wheel bearing. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be able to tell you what it is tomorrow. Uh, but I just thought I'd give you this little snippet of a video, um, because you know, as I say, no video is complete without Loopy Harold. Loopy Harold will have to go at some point. I need to get shot of it, cut my losses, and get shot of it. So if you're interested in it, let me know. I don't know what I'm going to try and sell it for. I may. Possibly knock it out on Copart. I don't really know yet, but I don't think I'll get much for it on Copart. I doubt if it'll make a thousand pounds on Copart, but I want more than that for it. It owes me about 1900 quid, but then I have had it for a little while now. So I'm sort of thinking of cutting my losses for around the 1500, 1600 mark. Um, so if anyone is interested in it, if you want to make me an offer, I'm always open to offers, but it's got to go soon. Not yet. Uh, got about another three weeks that so I've got to keep it. Uh, I start my new job on the 26th of March, so I don't have to be here anymore. I'm going to be at a different location. So, um, yeah, the reason I'm on this estate, I have to park on this estate. Um, and I didn't want to park my Puma or any other than me fit. Well, none of the others are drivable at the moment, but um, I didn't want to park my Puma on this side street all day long. Uh, hence why I, uh, I'm i using Loopy. I haven't had any problems, touch wood. No one's damaged the car or anything. I've uh, stolen it, or obviously I'm sitting in it. No one's stolen it. Uh, but I didn't want to tempt fate by parking my brand spanking new car. The aircon don't work in this. Only reason it doesn't work is because it needs a top up, and because I'm going to knock it out as a cheap car, I'm, I didn't bother forking out. I know it's only thirty quid, but what's the point in? I have spent enough money on this car. Um, but anyway, I I want to get home and have a nice cold beer because it's Friday. So I'm going to say farewell, Avidzain, etc., 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 and uh, I'll see you whatever video I put this one in on. So, laters. Just a quickie on uh, Project Faker Bath. As you know, it was finished last week. Um, I didn't have to put it out for sale. The young lad who came to look at um, the white car um, a couple of weeks ago has bought it. Uh, he's paying, paying me and picking it up this evening. Uh, and it will be going to a new home. And he is well excited, well excited. So I've just done a couple of little bits on it, not in the rain, I didn't do this, I did it yesterday. There was a couple of little scratches, little chips off the edge of the door, so I've touched those in, uh, and I've got the correct exhaust hanger. And uh, when he came round to look at it on Saturday, uh, it was, um, his dad was sitting in the back, and I think with the extra weight, it was actually banging the exhaust, which it wasn't doing when it was just me in it. Um, but I've now, luckily I found on the faker bar, on, on the faker bath, on the old bath exhaust that was on the car, um, it's, it had the correct hanger, the three hole one. Um, so I put it up on ramps uh, and I put the correct one on. So there's one of the other ones on the left hand side where there's one hanger and there's that one where there's the two prongs uh, which keeps it from rocking side to side. And that's it, it's all done, all finished. So that's the end of the uh, Faker bath. Been quite a emotional journey, but it's looking great and it's going to a new home. So today we, uh, it's a couple of days later, so Project Faker Bath is now finished and is going this evening, uh, as I've just shown you, uh, and now we're going to start working on this. Look at the state of it. Look at the state of it. I'm not sure if I showed, I think I showed you this the other day. <laughs> it's absolutely, I've never ever seen a body shopped car in quite such a bad state as this. 
Oh dear. I mean, you know, they, I get good prices. I'm not complaining. I, I still haven't been told how much he's going to charge me for this, um, but it is only a few days later. But oh my god. Obviously, if it, if this was an insurance job, uh, and they were doing, they wouldn't return the car in a state like this. They'd have someone clean it. Maybe they'd even, I don't know, I don't know what they'd do, but they'd certainly have someone clean it. But I'm not complaining, because, you know, that's part of what I do with the cars, is uh, give them a damn good clean. But again, you know, I am over the moon with the way this has come out, absolutely over the moon with the way it's come out. Um, so, I need to get on with it. Uh, but seeing as uh, the video you've just been watching is, uh, a, you know, fair, a, fair, a fair length, then uh, uh, we're not going to uh, make it any longer. So um, putting, putting all these back panels back together and what have you is going to come in the next video, which will be coming to you on, at the weekend on Sunday. Last couple of times I've said Saturday. I always release my videos on Sunday, and I always try and do a midweek one Wednesday. You're watching this one on Wednesday, hopefully, all being well. Uh, today's Monday. Um, but yeah, so... Glad to see Project Henriette back, even though I don't even know what it's going to cost me for that bodywork. But it's great to see the car back, and uh, I hope you enjoy what you've seen so far, and I hope you're going to enjoy the final stages of this car. It shouldn't, hopefully, take too much longer. I've got to get it serviced uh, an MOT yet. It is still MOT till October, I think it is, but um, obviously it'll be coming with a brand new MOT and a new service, but I've got to find somewhere else to get that done. So. With no further ado, I'm going to end this video here and then I'm going to ca carry on with the car um, for the next video. So, as always, thanks for watching. Big, massive thanks for uh, all your comments. And uh, for those of you who uh, aren't subscribers and you've only just uh, arrived at the channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. We're almost, almost at the 3,000 now. We'll be at 3,000 within the next week or so, hopefully. Um, we've had quite a lot of subscribers over the last week or so. Um, it's, going, it's going great gun. So. I'm still on track, I reckon, maybe, just to hit the 5,000 by the end of the year. We're nearly, well, we're halfway through the year now, aren't we, really? So I might, I might do it. Hopefully, with your help, I can. So again, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you, uh, see you, when is it, at the weekend? Yeah, no, this one's, oh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe. See you soon.